Hi, my name is Belgica and I am an actress and recently somebody asked me do actors actually have to kiss? Like, this really made me think about wow intimacy on stage and on camera is very very awkward and I don't know that I've ever had a conversation about it um, that I felt comfortable and confident in before actually doing it. And I have kissed five different people for camera or stage and each time was different and each one each time was awkward in its own way and I did a bunch of research and now there's this thing called an intimacy director which in theater I know in theater it's been a thing where usually the choreographer is also the intimacy director or director or the int intimacy director maybe comes in one time to help out but now there is a role and now you can get certified as somebody who helps coordinate uh, that and make it safe since the me too movement of course a lot of people have been advocating to just having a safer and more comfortable environment for anybody that's involved in any kind of intimacy scene so uh, i am going to be talking to an actual intimacy director soon and i'm going to be making a separate video on that but i thought today i could tell you about every time so far that i've had to kiss somebody on stage or for the camera and I'm gonna tell you each one like who I kissed what the situation was how awkward it was and just to let you know that this is somebody something everybody goes through and in college we never learned anything about this we never had a class that was dedicated to having a conversation around that most of the time it's just been like okay do it so let me tell you about each time that I had to kiss somebody for the stage or the screen oh and by the way yeah you do actually have to touch lips I mean, unless it's very hidden and you don't have to, you might not, but in general, yes, you actually do have to kiss the other person. And I'll, of course, get into that with the intimacy director and how that looks like. And I do want to give you some resources and for you to just get comfortable for when this does come up in your career. So I'm going to be linking a bunch of videos or links to blogs that I read that really helped me and that explains it more. Will this be a deal breaker in an acting career for you? Because every actor, one time or another, you might have to become intimate or kiss somebody. If that makes you extremely uncomfortable, if you have any trauma around it, if just the idea of having to be intimate with somebody else just isn't okay with you, then just don't audition for those roles. If your dream is to be in romantic comedies and be in stories about love and relationships, then that's going to be something that you definitely are going to have to work at um, because if you are auditioning for something that already has an existing kiss in it and it's integral to the storyline they're not going to remove it just because you're uncomfortable I would advise you to not put yourself in those situations by not auditioning for those types of plays um, or if it is a film that you really want to be in or a play you really want to be in and you want to work around that then see if the director or writer are willing to take it out maybe but that's very very unlikely because they put that there for a reason anyways now that i went down a very long tangent i'm gonna tell you about every time that i had to kiss somebody the first time was my freshman year of college and this was for a competition in college it was called uh kcactf it's basically a countrywide competition i was a freshman and i was selected to be in this competition usually freshmen are not selected and come in to be in these we did a scene where where it was two women that had to kiss each other and before this I had never even had like a serious relationship and I think I had maybe kissed like two people in my life so just kissing in general was a new thing for me uh, yeah so for this competition we had to rehearse on our own and get feedback from the professor and our fellow classmates for that specific class because you were also in a class for that competition and then we're like okay well we need to rehearse this scene and this kiss so I I had a one bedroom apartment that I shared with two other roommates and I just told them like, hey, we need to rehearse. And we had uh, closet doors in our bath in our bedroom that were mirrored. So we're like, okay, perfect. Like we can just go in the room and practice. Like no conversation about like, what are you comfortable with? Nothing. And so we just like, sat in front of the mirrors and we just did the, the, uh, the scene. And then at the part where it came to kiss, like we just kissed. And it was awkward because we didn't talk about 
anything you know it, it like I wasn't attracted to her and I don't think she was attracted to me it was just weird because we had to do this intimate thing that was kissing and this did not this rehearsal did not help our performance because I remember in the performance she was like in the moment of the scene and blah blah and I remember our kiss being like very fast and rough and like uh, uh, the rehearsal process didn't help the rehearsal process was just very awkward for that and um we didn't have any kind of guidance for that scene our professor i love our professor by the way he was my favorite professor in that university but our professor didn't tell us like oh hey you guys have an intimate scene maybe you should talk to each other and just like see how you you know whose head is going to turn which way go in for the kiss like how do you want to make that moment special because whenever you have a moment like that it's usually significant and then the second time was a lot less awkward uh the second time was i want to say so that first time was in 2010 and the second time was in 2012 i believe and it was for an acting on camera class and it was with this amazing actor named reggie white he's been on broadway now he was just so talented and charismatic like i already just enjoyed being his friend so it wasn't as awkward and it was for a short scene for an acting on camera this one we had to perform only in front of our classmates and it was was a very short scene we didn't really practice either we didn't have any kind of direction from a professor this was a different professor at the same university and again he's that professor is awesome but we just didn't have any kind of guidelines or guidance for this so yeah so we kind of just kissed that time it was not awkward and I, I wouldn't say like I wasn't attracted to him or anything I wouldn't say like I enjoyed it but at least this time I was like oh cool part of the scene and by this time I had a boyfriend so the same boyfriend I have now so I just in my head imagined okay when you kiss him just think about how you feel when you kiss your boyfriend Alex like it's nice you close your eyes like you know so I was now a little more experienced I guess in kissing and I just was more comfortable so that was the second time kissing on camera in front of a class okay so one of the things I don't like about kissing people for the camera for acting is that germs right like I like I told you I think I've only kissed three people in my life off of camera yeah so in general like i feel like my mouth is clean you know because i haven't exposed myself to a lot of people it was just like a germ thing and then this next situation me and um my co-star i guess uh, we were one character it's uh, the name of the play was called yerma and uh we were playing like the same character different sides of each other like we played this one character so our husband in the play uh had to kiss one of us and then kiss the other one so it was like I was getting germs from two people so that's like the first reason why it was kind of awkward in the first place but this was a play in the summer of 2012 and I believe the summer of 2012 wait you know what I think it was summer of 2011 right before I started dating my boyfriend yeah this this one actually was the second time I kissed somebody and then the acting for the camera the time I kissed Reggie that one was 2013 because I was already dating my boyfriend okay so I'm kind of giving you the first three out of order but this one was in the summer of 2011 it was for a play named Yerma by a great friend of mine or a great friend of mine directed it Ulises Alcala he was my professor in college and now he's my friend he's amazing but this was the first time that somebody actually took the time and walked us through it and asked us how are you comfortable like how do you guys want to do this are you okay with this and that so it was like we actually had a conversation but the awkward part was that the guy i had to kiss was my uh one of my best friend's boyfriends and she was also the choreographer and intimacy director in this scenario um so the director of the play ulises was very respectful and asked everybody to leave except for us three that were acting the director him Ulises and then uh my best friend at the time that was the choreographer so even though he asked everybody to leave so we would feel less awkward it was still so awkward because I never had a conversation with her of like oh like I have to kiss your boyfriend because I'm in this play and it's part of it like sorry you know it was just kind of like uh and she was basically directing us on how to kiss and so although i really really appreciated that we actually had the conversation and the opportunity to say what we were comfortable with like <sighs> the intimacy director or choreographer for this scenario was 
the girlfriend of the guy I had to kiss and it was just weird. You know, it's getting a little better. We're having conversations, so that was nice, but still very, very awkward. Uh, and this was a play, so I had to kiss him every night for a few weekends. And then the next time I had to kiss somebody was, it was more recently, and uh, this was for a Ted Bundy, you guys know the serial killer, Ted Bundy. It was a recreational, a re recreation of a scene um, where Ted Bundy and his wife kiss. So in this scene, uh, I it was for the camera, it's for TV. If you guys have the Reels channel, uh, it was like a three part docu-series kind of deal. And the guy was super, super sweet. I have a lot of friends who acted with him for that same series and they told me like, he's awesome, he's super nice. And I talked to the makeup artist. She was like, oh yeah, he's super nice. I was really happy that I knew he was, you know, a respectful person. For this one, we did not have a conversation. The director, nobody, nobody gave us, you know, any kind of anything. They're like, okay, go ahead and kiss. Uh, Cause that was the primary part of the scene and I was just really nervous I remember just telling my boyfriend like hey just so you know like I have to kiss somebody today for you know this thing I'm shooting for tv and he was like yeah it's okay it's fine you know I just want to tell him I just want to be respectful and tell him I'm going to be kissing somebody else and so I was just nervous you know I was like oh I hope my breath doesn't sink and I hope you know we're able to get it in just a couple of takes in this scene he was in prison and then there were the bars in front in between us and then me and the camera was at an angle so fully ready to like actually use my lips to kiss him um and so I go in and I'm like okay Jesus like take the wheel <laughs> and I go in to kiss him and the bars are right here right and we're kissing like in between the bars and I go and I was like oh my god he's faking it he didn't touch my lips. So I just continue to stay there and like move my head as, as if I'm kissing. And then the director's like, cut. They thought we were actually kissing and the camera totally made it look like, or I mean, according to the people that were watching it, the, you know, the cameraman, the director, all of them, they were like, okay, cool. It looks good. So we did it. It was a pleasant surprise to like go in fully expecting to kiss and then realizing like, oh, we don't actually have to because there's a bar. But also like in such a professional scenario like you'd think there'd be some kind of direction or somebody that was helping us with the kiss but and again everybody on set was awesome the director was awesome like everybody there was great we just didn't have a conversation about it and the most recent time i had to kiss somebody was another girl for a short film called ukulele girl and this one this film isn't out because i want to say that the director and writer is still submitting it to uh film festivals but she allowed me to play a little clip of it so you can see what it was and this one was a very chill environment it was a, a short film it was maybe four or five of us actors and then the director and the videographer so it was very chill we were in a park and again there wasn't really a conversation about it it was a very chill thing like oh, okay and then at the end like you guys like ju you just like give her a, a peck which that is easier like they actually give us the directions of you're just gonna a quick little kiss like just make it a nice sweet quick little kiss and again there wasn't a conversation of like oh what are you comfortable with like what how do you want to do this but in this scenario just because it was such a chill environment not a lot of pressure we were just like they were again the situation was kind of like okay then just kiss just a peck you know so it wasn't as awkward as the other ones i would say but it was still a little bit like nerve-wracking because it was just weird because we didn't have any conversation about it and I don't know if this is all just me but again just being intimate to me is something that I don't do with a lot of people so having to do it for acting is just a little bit strange and I wish and I know that in the future I'm going to be having conversations about this every time just so I feel respected so I feel respectful so we're doing this in a way where everybody is doing it professionally and enjoying it not enjoying it in like a sexual way but enjoying it and it's not awkward and we know how it's going to happen so yeah pretty much every time i have ever had to kiss somebody for stage or film it's been awkward and there's been little to no conversation about it and i really want to change that in my experiences and in your experiences if possible always ask for some kind of conversation especially if it's a scene where you're supposed to be simulating sex there should always be a conversation around the intimacy and that's why i want to make more videos about this how to talk to your partner um, about this 
make sure they're comfortable, make sure you're comfortable, your scene partner, I was talking about like your love, your life partner, but also your scene partner, talking to the director, making sure if there's not an intimacy director there, making sure that there's somebody there to help you guys out. Like that scenario of me and my friend going into my room when I was 18 and practicing, you know, a kiss, like maybe I didn't feel in danger because we're the same sex but it's a very real thing for women to feel like they can be taken advantage of there's just so many situations i don't think you should ever have to practice a scene by yourself um that's intimate there should always be somebody supervising so you can feel safe and protected whether you're male or female and so i really want to start this conversation and just let you know that you should start it as well in whatever kind of film you are in budget you know low budget large budget stage tv whatever it is always have a conversation about it because i've experienced enough awkward situations where i'm now going to bring it up and make sure that there's a conversation around it and you know we can choreograph what's going to happen so nothing is left to uh, just in the moment whatever you feel like I, I'm not comfortable with that personally so I hope this helped you guys out and uh, let me know what your questions are around intimacy in theater in film and of course in some me too movement so much has happened around this so i'm going to be covering a lot of this in upcoming videos uh, but thank you so much for watching and at the end of every video i feature another channel this is today's feature if you would like to be featured on my next video please make sure you're subscribed like this video and leave me a comment